What is up, guys? I just came back from a tournament from Collectibles Exchange uh, where I was able to win uh, fourth place with this particular list of agents. Uh, just so you know, this agent is slightly spicy, but not really. Uh, it plays most of the main components. Uh, I was able to win a uh, ultimate rare Solemn Warning uh, Unlimited. Uh, so that was surprising for fourth. Third got a Glow Bolt, and second got a Ulti Trish. And first place got an ulti thunder king ryo all really well retailed uh, cards a uh, total of 28 players attended this event so it was a small uh event for a retro format series but uh, it is tengu so i don't expect too much for uh, the turnout for tengu uh so yeah so there was also several tournaments going on in this weekend uh gen con being one of them uh being the biggest one and also also rbt maryland so a lot of the retro format series was taking a lot of the attention, I assume. Uh, but there's not much uh, Tengu plant formats uh, uh, events going on. So I decided to attend one, uh, and then I decided to take Agents. So as the title of the video says, it is on Gold, Star, uh, Gold Sarcophagus, as well as the uh, the Return. So uh, a lot of the Agents lists do not play these cards, and I don't know why. Uh, this card is not just a search for uh, the card that you need out of your hand, such as uh, Hyperion, uh, Christia, as well as um, Heavy Storm uh, and BLS. Uh, this card also functions as a way to fuel up the return. And so this, tur this card turns into a search for a hand trap. Uh, a lot of the times when you want to resolve uh, Sangan. So the idea is to banish your Agent of Mystery, uh, Earth, which is a tuner, or uh, if you have Herald the Orange Light as a desperation, uh, if you have that banished because you special some Hyperion, then you can use the Gold Sark they top decked into uh, to banish a Sangan, uh, flip the return if you can't kill them, uh, Sangro with the Sangan and the tuner that you banished, uh, and then Sangro summon to level 5. And then the Sangan acts as a way to search for a hand trap that you need for the following turn. And I really think this card is invaluable. Uh, thought about bumping up to 3, but there's really limited deck space in this particular list. So um, that's really all my thought process there is. Return is just a really great card in Agents. Uh, being able to Sangro summon, uh, one card Sangro summon into a level 9 sometimes. Um, there was one game where I banished a Cataster, uh, along with the Mystic Shine Ball, as well as the Earth, uh, because I used, uh, I special summoned Hyperion, uh, banished the Mystic Shine Ball, uh, popped the card, and then I flipped this card, uh, after, oh yeah, and I also special summoned, uh, Chaos Sorcerer a turn before, so that put a Dark in the Graveyard, or banished, and then I was able to flip this and make a Trish, uh, one card Trish with this. So that was a really good card, this perform overperformed. Uh, in this um, in this particular event, I won so many games because I flipped this card over, and uh, yeah, uh, never I'd never searched for this off of the Gold Sark. Uh, I just had it all the time because I was deck thinning a lot, and it was just amazing. Uh, that basically we had like what six rounds, five rounds of locals, uh, five rounds of this tournament uh, with twenty eight players, and I played off against. So my matchups for this uh, tur tournament, I played four plant decks, uh, three of them I, which I won. But I only lost against one, which was my teammate for Edison, which was Mateen. I have his deck profile. If you guys are interested in seeing his deck profile, uh, he plays only two card different from the traditional plant list, but it's very interesting, I would say, because it has a very good synergy with the plant engine. So, yeah, he was able to get fifth in the tournament. Uh, I lost to him in Swiss, but I won against the other three plant decks, and then I played against a Chaos deck. Uh, so those are all uh, very uh, popular matchups, I would say. Uh, very, uh, I would say, try hardy. Um, a try-hard uh, tournament because a lot of people were playing plants. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, I guess, the Agents was just better into those matchups. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the idea. Uh, these three, and then you're going to see the uh, traditional list uh, come uh, after this, which is the three Hyperion, the three Chrysia, the one BLS. Not, not much to say. Uh, these cards are just too good to be played in Tengu plant format. Uh, being able to modulate your graveyard uh, with Hyperion so that you can special summon Christia is kind of the idea. And then since uh, these are boss monsters that can be searched with Golsark, um, you just make this deck way more consistent than it uh, was before uh, when it wasn't playing it. Uh, so it's not it's less draw dependent and more like uh, skill variant. Uh, then we have the three Mystic Shine Balls. I'm about to say it there. I did draw a double Mystic Shine Ball once and I won a game with it. And other games where I draw one Mystic Shine Ball with no follow up. Uh, I, I feel like Mystic Shine Ball gets a lot of bad rep in this deck. And yes, you do lose games where you draw a double of them. But you also win games because you draw the Venus with these cards. So if you don't have a Venus to convert these cards, they're kind of bad. But if you draw one Mystic Shine Ball, it's not so bad because you can draw with Herald of Orange Light. Uh, and then pitch it off and then it's fine. So you have like a hand trap. Uh, which, speaking of which, uh, this card uh, worked so well for, for, for me the entire weekend. Uh, I would not play a deck with Asian deck without this card anymore. 
uh, I considered playing Valor in this spot as opposed to Herald Orange Light, but uh, that's just incorrect. Herald Orange Light is just so busted in this uh, in this deck because you can fill up your grave for uh, Chrissia, and then you can also it's also a tuner as well. So I found myself using this in tandem with the Mind Control in order to synchro someone with the People's Thunder King Ryo, uh, just to make it level six synchro. Uh, yeah. Uh, this card was really good. It performed really well for me. Uh, I often normal summon this card to run over Thunder King Ryo if I have a Gachi out. So uh, Thunder King Ryo just made it. This card just made it so that Thunder King Ryo is not a card, and you can just run it over. Uh, and then we have the three Venus. Of course, you have to play these three and these six. I'm not really going to explain these cards, but there's a lot of combo with this uh, with Agents of Earth. Um, but yeah, our really great openers. Search Venus. If you have Venus already, summon the Venus. Uh, not much to say. Uh, second best normal summon in the game, or maybe the first best normal summon in the game, is Tour Guide. Uh, it's almost a staple in every uh, deck in Tengu Plan format, just because it's just so consistent in what it does. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's me very meta defining, and it's also dark, so you can spell summon your BLS and your Chaos Sorcerer. Speaking of which, we also play the Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, this card worked really well in this tournament because um, sometimes if I have multiple lights in the graveyard. I'll probably see special summon uh, the BLS first, and then uh, sorry if I have um, if I have many lights in my graveyard, I'll, I'll purposely special summon the Chaos Sorcerer first to bait the warning, and then now I put a dark in the graveyard again and I can banish it for BLS. So that's kind of the idea with the Chaos Sorcerer, and I only play it at one, even though it's at three in this format. Uh, then we have our two uh, hand, hand traps or the three hand traps, the Tragodia and the Gores. You have to play Tragodia in this deck if you want to steal people's Tengu. Uh, you can pitch off the Jupiter that you search. Uh, sometimes I'll open up a Venus with an Earth, and uh, I'll purposely normal summon the Earth so that I can get the Jupiter in my hand. And uh, knowing that people are going to be on Thunder King Ryo and Tengu, uh, they'll attack over my Earth and I'll special summon the Trag, and then I'll just steal the, uh, the Thunder King Ryo. So that's kind of a, a setup you can do with Tragodia. Uh, Tragodia is just so busted in this deck. Uh, you can buy a lot of time against plants if you put this in defense position and never switch it to attack position. And uh, the only way they out this is by Black Rose Dragon and uh, switching it to attack mode. Uh, but other, but they have to walk into like a hand trap if they do that, which is uh, Herald of Orange Light. So that's what I really like about putting Dragon Defense position. And it buys you turns until you draw your uh, your ultimate cards like um, uh, Christia as well as Hyperion. Other hand traps I play are the two Maxis and the Honest. Uh, again, this is a very hand trappy deck, and this, that's what I really like about Monster Mash decks in Tengu is that you can play the, the best hand traps. And you'll be fine uh, regardless. Uh, Honest didn't do so well for me. I often cite it as out often. Uh, but it's okay card. It does damage. It's a fairy monster. So um, I always cited this card out for like better cards such as um, Herald of Greenlight. Which I'll go into in, in a minute. The spell lineup is not uh, too terrible. It's just going to be these cards here. Uh, I decided I almost cut it the enemy controller. But it's so good against stealing um, stealing people's Sangan with Tour Guide. So you can go Tour Guide, Sangan, Trip the Sangan, steal their Sangan. So I, I, that's why I ultimately kept it in my deck. Uh, it's, a, it's a good defensive tool. I can also steal people's Tengu as well by uh, going to that play. Uh, this list does not play Genix Alley Birdman. I don't like that card in this deck because um, Genix Alley Birdman, although it's a really great combo card, it's a really dead card if you don't have Venus, and I decided to cut that. Uh, you can also have Tour Guide as well, where you can bounce the Sangan back to your hand. But I really don't want to Sangan in my hand. So I can go into a, a level 6 Sangro. So uh, I decided not to play the Genix Alley Birdman. And decided to play better cards such as these, uh, these three. So that's my 40 card deck. Really consistent deck I would say. Um, I always say... I always say um, I always jokingly say that Agents is the best deck. I don't think it's quite the best deck. But it is a really good deck. And it is um, definitely the top 3 deck uh, in the format. And uh, yeah, so let's go into the uh, side deck. Uh, side deck's not very interesting. It's just the two decrees. I uh, thought about playing three cards, three decrees, but I feel like it's overkill and it also has diminishing return if you open up too many of these cards. Uh, and then we have the Torrential, the MST in the side deck. Uh, Torrential is there just because people don't expect agents to have real traps. And so that's there um, for the uh, surprise factor. One close for us because you can actually Gold Stark this card. I don't uh, play Ancient Fairy Dragon in this deck, so uh, I only play the one so I can search off Gold Stark uh, against GKs and Dragoonities. Uh, 1DD Crow, I often just cited 1D Crow because saying I can just search for it. So I'll, that, that's, that speaks volumes about the same uh, theory about the Hero Warrant Green Light. Uh, the reason why I only play two copies uh, as opposed to one. It's because I, I don't want to get Royal Tribute first turn, and this helps me not get Royal Tribute. Uh, 
Then we have the back C. I don't know why I side the side, the third one. Uh, again, I don't. I didn't really test this deck too much. I only used theory to make the deck, and there's not really a need for the third max C unless you're playing against Infernities, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's just there against. I uh, play against a super combo deck, which is just Infernities, uh, or maybe Dragoonities. So yeah. And then we have the two Thunder King Rile to round it off. Uh, not much to say about Thunder King Rile. It's just a staple card uh, format. Uh, a cool deck, a, a cool play you can do with Thunder King Rile in this deck is that you can Gold Shark the Thunder King Rile, and then summon the Tour Guide, make a Levier, and then you have a Thunder King Rile. So yeah, uh, because of that, uh, it, it makes this deck a lot more consistent. Uh, all your uh, monsters that you want to Floodgate on the first turn, uh, Tour Guide can turn into those Floodgates. Uh, and then we have our... Um, Oh, yeah, sorry, I have more cards in my uh, side deck. And then we have our Leech and Light in the Book of Moon. Uh, Leech and Light, I decided this against the Agent Mirror, uh, or maybe even Light Swarms if I played against it, but I never played against either of those in Swiss. I did play it in Top Cut, uh, and I lost to it in Top Cut. Uh, and then I played again, uh, then Book of Moon is there for the Mirror Match, so I can Book of Moon the Christia and then do my play. Uh, it's also there for Thunder King Ryle as well, if I see that there's playing three copies of it. Uh, let's go into the side deck. Um, I mean, the extra deck. Play the Armory Arm. Uh, teach Hyper Librarian Catastrophe. Um, Hyberian, Librarian is really good in this deck in particular, but also Catastrophe as well. But in this deck, you can actually Synchro Summon much more because you're playing the Return. And uh, I really like that about TG Hyper Librarian. There was a game where I returned and I brought out this card uh, with the Sangan and Synchro with the uh, Tuner. And then I put more um, fairies in my graveyard. And then I Sacro Summon uh, because I have more stuff in my Banish into like an Armory Arm. And I drew a card off the Armory Arm, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, Contestor is really good. Not much to say. It's really good in the Mirror Match as well. Uh, Bryanak and Orient. Uh, I often just went into Orient just because I wanted to throw away Orient. And then I went into Bryanak after uh, because of the Mind Control uh, Herald play. Uh, Bryanak is really good because you could fill up your graveyard with fairies. So you can special summon Christia. Uh, that's the idea behind it. And then we have the Black Rose Dragon. Uh, I think I made it once, uh, but it was okay. It was just okay. Uh, blowing up the field and then being able to spell some Hyperion is kind of the idea with this uh, with this card. Uh, the better level 7 I play is the Ancient Secret for Waven. Uh, this base out Warning and Blackhorn often because they know if I bring this out uh, and then I spell some Hyperion after, uh, then I could just win the game. So they always Blackhorn this Heaven and then uh, this baits that card and then I could just spell some Hyperion afterwards. Although you can make the argument this is probably better, but this is uh, good in case they don't have the Warning or the Blackhorn Heaven and they can spell some Hyperion and win the game. Uh, then we have the level 8s, the Scrap Dragon, and the Stardust. Uh, I don't think I made either of these. Uh, maybe I made Stardust. It's hard to make level 8s in this deck. Um, yeah. And then we play the Trish because you have to play it because Trish is broken in Agents. Uh, the Xyz are the two Gachi Gachi. Not sure if they play two copies anymore, but I like to because you can make your uh, small guys really strong. And you can also make your big guys bigger. Uh, that's why I play two copies. Um, and then I play the Le Leviathan Dragon, Levier, and the Utopia. No Roach in this deck, and no Chimera tech either. So that was my deck, that was my run. In Top Cut, I played against, uh, my first round, I played against uh, Miss Valley, uh, the Miss Valley uh, Falcon Punch deck, and I lost in Game 3. Uh, I felt like Game 3, uh, my opponent just drew uh, really well. Uh, otherwise, my hand was like pretty good. Um, they had the Reborn, after I Herald Orange Light, uh, destroyed his... Um, Miss Valley, uh, what is that, Thunderbird, I think it was called? What, what is that level 7 Synchro monster? It's a level 7 monster that bounces back a card. Uh, I was able to Herald Orange Light it when he tried to bounce back his call. And uh, the one with his face up already because he tried to get the Super Valley. And then he Monster Reborn and then he uh, had Heavy Storm. Uh, I think he either drew into it or kept it in his hand. He Heavy Stormed and then he set his, uh, oh, after he uh, bounced back his um, his, return, his call to haunt it. And then he summons the Miss Valley Falcon, and then he's able to do that loop that uh, generates so much pluses with that with that deck. Uh, that was game three, uh, and that was, I was able to lose that one. And then in the second round, I played against um, I played against the Mirror in Agents. Uh, I drew double Shine Ball, and my opponent drew double Maxi. So you can kind of guess who won, uh, won the first game. And then second game, he had Torrential Mirror Force when I had Gas, and I didn't have the um, I didn't have Hyperion to pop the Mirror Force or the Torrential. So yeah, that was my game against uh, in the tournament, and I was able to go uh, with a record of 4-3? Uh, Is it really 4-3? Yeah, it's only 4-3. So 4-3, fourth place, not bad. Um, but the list could, could be a little bit better. 
Uh, again, I used theory to make my decks, and I didn't really practice too much. But uh, being able to beat a lot of plant decks was uh, the key to my success. Actually, it was five two, five rounds. Yeah, two rounds. Yeah, so it's actually five three. Yeah, five three. So I was able to win five three with this deck, and uh, actually it's four three. So three plant decks and a chaos deck. Yeah, so four three. So yeah, that was my deck file. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it does make this deck a lot better. I think Agents is in a spot where it's like dominant, but it could be more dominant if you play the Gold Sarcophagus in this deck, along with the Return as well. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know that uh, I haven't been posting a lot of um, personalized content. It's mostly just other people doing their deck profiles, but uh, that's my uh, bread and butter, and I'll continue to do that uh, until somebody says no. All right, peace out, guys.